And a big tournament coming up, which is something similar to WrestleMania in the yeah. States. How does, how does it compare? Now, this is, I'm really excited about this. This is really something different. You know, my partners always say to me, I have two partners in the wrestling business. I have Willie Cooney and Pierre Mirage. They tell me I, I suffer from the eye disease. I'm the greatest. I'm this. I'm that. So I thought I'd just bring it in to let them know I'm not the greatest. <laughs> okay, we are putting on this tournament. We're going through the whole country. We're going to have two nights in Bloemfontein. We're going to have in t twice in Cape Town. We're going to have three shows in, in Durban, two shows uh, finale in Johannesburg. We're ending up with a big cage match in Johannesburg. A cage match like they do in WrestleMania. Yes, and I'll tell you one thing, you know, there's nothing wrong with WrestleMania. It's tremendous entertainment. But we emphasize more on wrestling when we do our, our programs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what the public are going to get. And we have, we have Matt Maniac Bourne coming in next week. We have the Simpson, bro we have the Simpson Brothers mentioned. They're coming in next right. week. And Eric Emery might be coming in the week after. So, you know, we really got something tremendous going for everybody. Will, will the guys have the same sort of costumes as they have in WrestleMania, or is this more real wrestling? I, they all look costumes as personality. It depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. Maniac Matt Bourne, no, he just wears a pair of trunks and boots. Yeah. And the, 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 the Simpson boys also trunks and boots. And Ma uh, Eric Emery, yes, sometimes wears a... Uh, American made type costume. Right. But you don't get guys coming in monkey suits like they're doing WrestleMania. No, 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 no. You know, you know, you've got to understand when you see WrestleMania, when you see it as we see it on television over here, it's it's something that it's a build up over months and months and months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with American television. We just haven't got the same uh, pre publicity that they have. But the actual wrestling, if you, look, if you really look at the wrestling, you see there's a tremendous amount of showmanship involved there. You are right. Um, so when are these actual tournaments going to take place? Have you got any dates for us, Sam? Yes, we're kicking off on the 12th in Cape Town. 12th of September. September, uh -huh. we're kicking off uh, on the 17th in Durban. On the 1st of October, it'll be back in Johannesburg. On the 29th and the 30th, we're going to be in Bloemfontein. Mm -hmm. We're starting off with a fantastic tournament this Sunday afternoon at the Westridge Tennis Stadium in Durban. And, you know, it's something unusual because we very seldom have wrestling in the afternoon, but we feel a lot of families want to come. And I must tell you, I don't mind telling you this, that, that um, we've decided uh, among the partners that we're letting children under 12 in free. Well, that's great, Sam. Well, good luck with the tournament. And good morning, now. Zijn we die twee mannen, Maniac Matt Bourne en die VSA Invader, de USA Invader, zoals hij bekend staan. Hulle wil niet hier onder die Zuid-Afrikaanse stoerreels vechten. Nee. Hulle zijn die Amerikaanse reels. Met andere woorden, die eerste val wat aangetekend wordt hier, gaan die wendval wees. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's an unwritten law, but, you know, when, when Americans tag in Europe or Australia or the Far East, they always insist on the one-fall rulings. And we agreed on it in South Africa for them for this particular match. This is Maniac Matt Bourne. Do you know he's rated number three in the world? Sean is the lighter man, of course. Donkey stamped his cop two miles in a club for the cellar club. And now is it work, Sean and uh, Steve. But like a royal than he cried. Steve has turned out to be one of the most popular wrestlers in South Africa. One of the biggest draw cards we've ever had. 
These wrestling are seen all over the world. He's with the World Class Union in America. And of course holds the World TV Champions Championship. The, the, the flying cross butt off that. A favorite of his. I was telling you that you know the, the TV tape that they do overseas is seen in the Middle East, it's seen in Australia, it's it's seen all over America. The semi the yellow tournoi stand up bekend as the golden ropes. Yes, this is the beginning of the Golden Ropes tournament. We carry on right through the month. And uh, on the 16th in the Portuguese Hall, we have the Golden Ropes tournament. And on the 17th at, at, the, at Westville University in Durban, we have a, a carry on of the Golden Ropes tournament. Maniac Matt, he will not fall, he is at pass. The two men who have their power of the Maniac Matt Bourne, he comes from a family of wrestlers. His father is tough Tony Bourne. And a surprising thing is that tough Tony Bourne at this very moment is making a movie with well-known actor Burt Reynolds. That was a damaging clothesline, that. Steve Simpson, wat aangemoedigd wordt hier in die goede hulpcentrum. Wat is die invader wat met een rugbreker voor een dag komt? Dat kan problemen weer. Nee. Want ook die eerste val is die windpal wat aangetekend wordt in die gevecht. En zo so bijna, bijna Steve Simpson wat vastgepind wordt hier die PSA invader. En dan worden die borstjes verang. Yes, I think Steve's finding the going pretty tough there right now. That's known as a surfboard. Yeah, and Steve Sahara like a bias is a brander plank rayer Sahara, eh? Yeah, but you know it, it, it's uh, it's it's actually got him his fortune. He's even uh, trying to tag his brother there. It's actually got him the part of doing a television series on Tarzan. They're going to call it Tarzan Visits the City. Is it an American film? Yes. Uh, well, as I say, it's going to be a television series, actually. Yeah, the skate rafter. Hey, it's on a fall. Here comes a man who is the third on the world rang list and stoei Maniac Matt Bond. And still is it Steve Simpson in the crowd. Steve is now a very long session after the rock. He's taking a lot of damage Steve right now.
Baya Klaberak. En dit kon een val geweest zijn. Dit kon een val geweest zijn. Ontoelaatbare tactiek van die Fiesa en Beider. Skar is een beetje ongelukkig. En uh, dit is. Die in Beider. The invader has even with a, a full body stretch. Steve is trying his best to get to his brother. He desperately needs to, to tag his brother. He needs the relief. En op die oomlik is hy baie ver van sy broer af. Hy is in die opponente sy hoek. Maar nie dat het nou so slecht gaan met Steve Simpson nie, as hy weer wil wegkom. Maar bly sy broek bijna achter. Die skare weet nie of hy dit moet geniet of nie. En daar is probleme vir Steve Simpson, hy kom baie goed daaruit. Bekommernis. Die moed wat eindelijk al opgegeen word. En dan weer die aanmoediging. Steve Simpson wat man net nie wil gaan leen nie. Kom ons kyk, wie gaan die beste daar aan toe weer? Het is nie een nie. Dit is baie gelijk op. Die skare is op hulle voete, die aanmoediging die kom weer. En dis op vinden die stoei, daar word gewaas hier het gedoen moet word. En nou sit Sean Simpson in die kruid in my nek met Bon. Hy is lekker uitgerust. Dis Bon in die hoek, hy verwissel. En hy word afgelost dier die invaders, hy spanmaat. Well, things are starting to hot up now. It's illegal for all four to be in the ring. Well, Tomas Amira is no net three. Well, now you can see when I say lighter but faster. Take the Ari for Bussalung. Yeah, enough. En Sean Simpson, wat die gevecht beklint. En nou is daar chaos in die kruid as Meineek met Bond het nie wil aanvaar nie. He's protecting his brother over there, Maniac. Maniac Matt Bourne is trying to use that chain. The scar on his foot. And it is Sean Simpson with his brother, Steve Simpson. Beskerm. Come on, look at how the fall is written. Prachtige spanwerk. He is finally out there. En die windval, as die invader vastgepen word, dit is die einde van die gevecht. Steve Simpson en Sean Simpson, wat met prachtstoei voor een dag kom. En vir my nie ek met Bon en die VSA invader klop in die goeie hoopcentrum in Kaapstad, waar ons groet en terugskakel na Topsport. Ja, dit was Johan Rademan en die twee Simpson broers, sy vader Sammy Cohen, wat die commentaar gedoen het. Ons program staan nou in die soe kant toe, maar ek het nog so'n bykie cricket nies. En dit is dat die Engelse beroep cricket speler Ashley Metcalf, die komende seizoen vir die vrystaat gaan speel. En Metcalf is een specialist kolver, en sommige kinders meen hy was ongelukkig om nie vir die Tour India toe gekies te word nie. Hy die afgelopen tyd 300 talle in graafskap cricket behaal. Dan ook die kaptein van die afgelopen twee seizoen, die Joubert Strijdom, dit is met die kaptein van die vrystaat, is weer vir die komende seizoen aangewees. 
Dan weer aan die ene van vanavond het programma. Ik denk dat het baie interessant, baie lekker geweest. Tot de volgende keer. Groetnis. Glenn. Yeah, I must have been. I can sleep a whole lot better knowing that the Simpson brothers won, hey? Can't you? A couple of uh, news snippets, sports news snippets before uh, I sign off. The proposed fight between WBA uh, World Junior Lightweight Champion Brian Mitchell and the Dominican Republic's uh, Marino Ramirez is off. The executive director of the South African National Boxing Board of Control, Stan Chris Sadulu, told Sapa tonight. Chris Sadulu said the board could not sanction the fight as to allow a fight to take place at such short notice would not be in the interest of the boxers or the public, and the time involved was contrary to the Boxing Act. How can we even consider an opponent with only 12 days to go? And uh, some lighter news, Ian Woosnam won the Welsh professional golf title tonight uh, to uh, add just £5,000, it's about 20,000 rand, to his already massive earnings. The prize was £45,000, I guess that's around 200,000 rand less than he pocketed at the end of the European Open on Sunday, but uh, he said it was worth it to do it all in front of his home Welsh fans. Well, what, almost quarter to twelve, relief of the sunburn at last. I think I shall go home and sleep it off in a late day. From us here at Top Sport, bye-bye. You're tuned to 